Dolphins fans, welcome to the channel. Everything draft is going to be covered here. So if you haven't already, subscribe, show me some love. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So, Panay Sewell is on the board at number three. Now, I don't know how you Dolphins fans are thinking, but I've never seen a better tackle since Munoz. And coming out of college, I don't think I've ever seen a better tackle. So if you don't want Tua to get killed, this is your guy. Because Austin Jackson, I love you, man. But you're just not as good as Panay Sewell. And Panay Sewell has the potential to go down as the best tackle of all time. A strong, fast Simone who's 6'6", has great technique. Are you kidding me? Like, you won't even hesitate here. I shouldn't have to explain this pick. Panay Sewell, clear and obvious pick. And the realistic pick that they're going in to draft in real life so we're down here and it's pick 18 right now if Najee Harris is off the board Najee Harris is your guys guy right at 18 realistically he's probably gonna go there to you guys because you guys have been uh you know bouncing for him to you uh, to come to your team so let's go here and let's try to pick a wide receiver to get you help uh for Tua. So we have Rashad Bateman and Terrace Marshall and Kadarius Tony. Um I don't know how much I like any of those players. So let's try to hmm, let's try to go edge. Let's see who's uh on the edge board here. I oh oh Gregory Rousseau. So I don't know how you guys feel about Gregory Rousseau. But I'm going to have you guys taking him right here because the amount of talent that this man has, I've seen this man literally just straight up use no technique, but he's so long. He's like slender man that a quarterback in the pocket feels naturally uncomfortable with him even just being there. So when your quarterback steps up in the pocket, this man's going to get a sack. I think this man is special. I know this man is special, and he's only been working on his technique more and more. He has a great swim move, and he can use those long, lengthy arms to get to the quarterback and get around tackles. And I'm going to have you guys going Gregory Rousseau here, right? And so next uh, pick, I'm going to have you guys going with a wide receiver, right? Hopefully, Rondale Moore is on the board. Um, let's see here. Oh. And he is. And this is a clear and obvious pick because you guys have big physical wide receivers, right? You guys got the Devontae Parkers. Let's go get it up and snack it from you. But what you don't have is a dude who is going to, you know, could be a gadget guy and could get your run game open with motions and everything like that. This pick will help your offense out tremendously. He's a great run, route runner along with his speed. Um, you know, he's a great football player. He just happens to be super fast. One of those pure football players um, with great speed. And I love that. Great route runner as well. Should help Tua out a lot. Again, this draft is about building around Tua. I'm a Steelers fan, but I believe that you guys will build around Tua and try to support him as much as possible and, you know, see if he's the one. So, with that being said, let's try to find the value pick here. So, I know you guys need a tight end, but that can be found in later ends, right? George Kittle, Travis Kells, that can really just be found in later, um, later in the draft. But with Javante Williams still on the board, this would be a crazy steal for you guys. And I'm going to have you guys going Javante Williams. Crazy steal, hard runner, can be a three down back, explosive. You saw what he did production-wise at North Carolina along with Michael Carter. This is a clear and obvious pick. Um, a Brian Flores type of guy. Uh, so that's just a great pick for you guys right here. And... Next, I think we are going to be targeting linebacker. Um, at least I want to say. Uh, so let's see who's in the linebacker position. Monty Rice, Charles Snowden, and Tony Fields. So I'm going to have you guys going Monty Rice. Now, I know some of Actually, mm, 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 mm. let me... Let me actually uh, double double check that because... Ah, oh, no, yeah, that wrong, wrong position I clicked. Oh, um, 
let's see here yeah let, let's go monty price how about it um i think that's a great value pick actually who oh marvin wilson oh florida oh florida state yeah i don't have you guys passing up on marvin wilson here i think marvin wilson could have gone first round in fact i know he could have gone first round um last year but he didn't um declare for the draft COVID hurt his stock and so we're gonna go with marvin wilson here um I'm sorry for that indecisiveness but i think that makes uh, the most sense with this pick and i would really love that for you guys so next one we're for sure taking linebacker because you guys you know you guys signed some guys in free agency but to have linebacker even depth is just very important um in nowadays league so let's go uh linebacker and tony fields is still gonna be there and this is why we pick tony fields out of west virginia very athletic cat um, that has good vision of the field uh, so that would be a great pick for you guys um, and i think that this draft is just going to be loaded for you guys tons of talent and a perfect opportunity with lots of steals because half these kids you know they didn't get the opportunity to help out their own stock so you know people who may be getting picked six in this draft without COVID may have been getting picked number one so it's a very unpredictable year and that makes it even better for you uh Dolphins fans uh because um you guys can get way more steals so we're coming up on this next pick now um i'm gonna have you guys going with uh needs at this point right so what are some of your guys' needs let's look at safety um damar hamlin now i don't know how the hell damar hamlin is down on this list but Dem trust me damar hamlin is smacking fools like this man is throwing people around an aggressive hard-hitting um, safety i watched the clemson game he's not scared to come up and you know smack you he has great play recognition great instincts so i'm gonna have you guys going to mar hamlin i'm surprised he's even here if i'm being honest um so demar hamlin is the pick uh next pick um let's go with um interior offensive line again let's protect to attack of iloa uh and we're gonna go with heist on the board um james epney epi sorry my bad but this byu offensive line this year makes zach wilson looks like he can't be touched and i think um that everyone in the, on that offensive line for byu brady christian sending james Ep at me will translate great to the next level you know they they're on my board more than zach wilson is so you gotta go with james Anthony there uh, protect your quarterback uh, for the future and build around him so this uh may be wrapping it up we got one more pick and it's the second last pick but at this point we're just gonna go with needs if you're still watching thank you subscribe i appreciate the love again i love this type of content too that's why i started making it so make sure you subscribe like and uh tell me what videos you want to see me do because i'll do all of them that you all uh, recommend um i love interacting with everybody in the comment section now um the last thing you guys need and the last thing i'm gonna have you guys drafting is a little tight end to back up with mike Siki. Now, I'm going to try to go um, with a more athletic one, and I'm going to go with Giovanni Haskins. Now, um, I know that Alabama cat, Carl Tucker, he's a solid pick, but, you know, I don't know how much um, that he was using that Alabama offense, but I'm going to trust Giovanni Haskins with this pick. You guys can always pick somebody up like Hunter Bryant last year um and this is just gonna be a great draft for you guys uh this is it for me everybody if you like the video again like subscribe all that great stuff and tell me what you guys want to see or what you would have done differently in the comment section but that's it for me i'm out peace